Greetings, knife nerds. Um, I uh, thought I would do a very quick uh, look at this Thor 2 uh, before I return it uh, to GP Knives. Um, I ordered both models, uh, and I thought I would just mention uh, the reasons why I plan to keep the Thor 1 and not the Thor 2. Um, along with a, few, a couple of thoughts on the differences. This will be a very quick one. Um, the hole in the blade uh, on the Thor 2 is smaller. The blade is thinner. The uh, blade finish is virtually identical. Pretty nice. Uh, it's a kind of a, uh, I wouldn't call it a stone wash. It's kind of a satin. I'm not quite sure how they achieve that. Um, it does have a uh, nice, uh, stylish uh, hole in the uh, flipper tab that the Thor 1 doesn't have. The um, various dimensions on the knife are generally smaller than the Thor 1. Um, I think they weigh about the same. Uh, the things about this I don't like are the Thor 1 has uh, a lot of these components are larger. Uh, this has a very tiny uh, screw or call it a bolt. Uh, I presume this uh, helps to retain the the uh, pivot. I'm not quite sure. Um, the uh, thumb tab also acts as the blade stop, as far as I can tell, and that also has a very small uh, size bolt, which I'm assuming holds this thing together and similar bolt here on the other side of the pivot and a similar bolt on the uh, lock bar. Now the lock bar you can't really uh, get around that but on the Thor 1 this one, this one, and this one are not on the knife. Um, I found this to be a little bit fiddly and I'm not sure how reliable that's going to be especially this one here that's very small. Uh, this does have jimping that the Thor 1 doesn't have. Um, the lock bar is very similar, the insert is similar, they've chosen to make this very visible and not try and hide it. Uh, the clip, like the Thor 1, is fairly soft as sculpted titanium clips go. This one is actually a little better than the Thor 1, I think. Uh, also, it does not have that guillotine effect where it uh, drops into a groove um, that might uh, damage your uh, pants when you use it often. Um, but otherwise it integrates into the frame very similarly to the uh, Thor 1. I think it's very nicely implemented. Um, neither of the Thors have any uh, uh, machining on the inside of the frame to lighten the knife. I'm not sure on an integral how practical it is to even do that. The uh, This Thor 1 has less leftover uh, garbage from the uh, machining of these holes. Um, I'm not, I don't think they did a better job with cleaning it out. I think there was just less left on this one when they machined it. They don't seem to actually deburr the inside before they uh, anodize it, which is eh, kind of kind of cheesy, but uh, it's not that big a deal. The one I'm the leftover pieces that were stuck on there on my Thor 1 were actually huge and I wondered if actually the blade hit them as big as they were. Uh, another thing that the Thor one, uh, 2 has, which I do actually like, is a breaker. Um, and I believe that actually holds the clip in as opposed to the two bolts on the Thor 1. Uh, now I suppose that meant means you could possibly swap that out for something else. Um, or replace it if need be. Uh, if my Thor 1 had that, I would say that would be a, a bonus. Uh, it's probably the thing I like the best about the Thor 2. Um, it, this one, uh, I don't know if the finish on the frame is going to take on that purple patina when you get skin oil on it the way my Thor 1 does because I've only, when, I've only handled this with gloves since I plan to send it back. Um, they came with about the same uh, edge on them. Uh, 
fairly sharp, not exactly uh, polished by any stretch. It does have a nice uh, sharpening choil, which I'm partial to. Um, I think the blade thickness on them is probably pretty similar. It's uh, fairly beefy. Um, they, let's see. Yeah, neither one of them flips all that great. Uh, that may uh, improve. Yeah, I kill my cat. Uh, that may improve as the uh, knife breaks in. I won't find out on this one. Um, but uh, we'll wait and see. Um, I think some people are going to find these nice just because they're, uh, you know, they're an attractive knife. Um, I don't think necessarily they function as well as some of the uh, non-integrals. But uh, it does have nice style. The uh, chamfering and with these machine marks. Um, uh, no, if they. No, it's not cut back to help you get access to the lock bar. Although I don't. Eh, I don't find that to be too much of a problem. Um, I think they both have the, uh, if, I want to, if I'm not mistaken, M390 or maybe it's two CTS-204P. Again, I wasn't doing specs. You can find those on the web. Um, I was mostly just giving my observations on, you know, how they put the knife together and uh, where I think they could have improved. Um, as Reich or uh, Riot go, um, generally, this is my, these are my first Reichs. I'd say the Riots are as good or better for less money, but uh, these are really well made. Um, I've had some mid-tech uh, knives that I've sent back or that I've uh, not held on to, which were um, quite a bit more money that were not built as well as these. I know there are those that say the, uh, um, you know, you're a trader for buying Chinese knives, but I tell you, uh, these things are... Uh, really well made and if, if if there's truth to the uh scuttlebutt that uh you know these things are not made in sweatshops they're they're no different than any knife that would be made in a small shop here in the states uh, the difference is that uh, they're in china um and, you know they're chinese makers uh they work just as hard on them as we work on ours i guess uh they probably just have lower overhead and lower lower price, uh, you know, cheaper access to materials. So uh, at the end of the day, it allows them to, I guess, offer a uh, better product, a lower price. That or we're greedier than they are. I'm not sure which of those is true. But anyway, that concludes my thoughts on the Thor 2, uh, which this is the one I'm going to send back. And uh, if I can get my hands on the Damascus inlay version of what I think is Thor 1 now that I'm remembering. Um, I may trade my other Thor 1 and uh, get the Damascus. I think it's the nice looking at the bunch. As long as it has a Damascus inlays but not a Damascus blade. I, I'm not partial to Damascus uh, blades so much. And also it'll be probably way too expensive anyway if it has both. So thanks for listening. I'll see you on the next one.